morning guys welcome back to another video so you do just have myself today before we start please don't forget to go ahead and subscribe like and comment what sort of videos you would like to see we do have a few coming out um so we have pre-filmed quite a few videos um so they're all ready to go which is really exciting um but you will see them after this video um now quick disclaimer this is all to do with my specific goals. I have not just jumped to this amount of calories. I have a coach because I am training in bikini. So this is what I eat to get ready for this bikini competition. Now, this is what I eat on a training day. I am trying to put on a little bit more size at the moment. So it's all to do around with that. Um, so apologies to anyone if this is any in any sort of way a trigger warning. Um, I really don't mean it to be. This is just specific to what I eat, my goals. And like I said, my coach has actually done this for me. Um, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. I will link the stuff here. And yeah, let's get ready. Um, right, we're going to go straight into it. So I'm very short on time. Sugar, we've only got 50, about 10 minutes. Right. I'm going to have to do this really quick. I have a posing session booked in at 8.30, so I need to get ready for that. So, um, part of my meal plan, uh, meal number one, I can either have minced beef and a bagel. And I'm kind of like, I've just woken up and it takes me quite a while to kind of settle down to get ready to eat some actual food. So, what's now in my plan as well, I have options, is Pro Fuel which is a carbohydrate powder. So this is from CNP. I think it's the only kind of place I really know that does pro fuel. I could be wrong. Um, so that I will have 80 grams mixed in with water. I will have a scoop of whey protein, which I'll just down. And then I also have peanut butter as well, which I just actually just scoop. Um, so yeah, let me get you set up for that. I really fancy a coffee. I don't know if I'm gonna have time. Um, and yeah, moving on to the next clip let's go okay guys so i'm just going to quickly show you what i do for my first meal so all i do is i take a scoop of the cnp cnp pro fuel god this is going to go everywhere okay not so bad today okay so i take one scoop of that and then i actually add juice into it because this is unflavored but i will get it down quicker if i add juice just the way it goes um i did just realize i put the water in first but it's only because it kind of mixes better like that um with the powder i wouldn't normally if i had just the if i was just having juice i'm gonna give it a quick stir I don't think i'm gonna have time to put a coffee no chance i'll have a coffee before Oh, I don't know, I don't know. This is such a dilemma because I need to train, so I don't know when I'm going to have a coffee because, you know what, I'm going to have a light coffee before I train and then I can take some... Am I going to take a train today? I talk to myself quite a lot, guys, if you haven't already noticed. Oh, uh, pre-workout is the um, Protein World... Uh, vanilla ice cream flavour and I take four scoops of these because it's quite a small scoop. I take about four to five. Oh crumbs, is that three? We'll say that's three. I'll only do four today because I've lost count. It's messy and um, right. I'm going to mix that. I'm trying to shortcut everything because obviously I'm running a little late. So I'm just mixing it with some cutlery. Um, I will link my code on the screen for, um, for Protein World. Now, a lot of people will tell you I will never promote a product that I don't truly like or I don't truly like use. Uh, because that's not fair and you would have seen that in my protein world uh haul okay right protein shake mm, that's so good right i'm going to do a time lapse of me 
downing these before I get ready for my posing lesson. You shining bright just like Rihanna. Nah. Always be fucking up some karma. Yeah, I was really contemplating life. I really, um, I don't typically, oh gosh, everything's falling. I don't typically down um, stuff like that. Oh. It's only because I'm in such a rush. I've only got five minutes now. I'm gonna need to, oh, I'm gonna need to pee during the session because of just downing that, downing those drinks. I typically down my protein shakes just kind of because I always, I always have. And that was mixed, they were both mixed with water, by the way. Um, time for peanut butter. This is gonna leave my mouth really dry. But we roll with it. We've got to do what we've got to do. This is um, smooth because I'm not about that crunch. I'm not for crunchy. Are you smooth or are you crunchy? Oh, right, here we go. Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna leave the mess. Because I need to pee and I'm gonna be late. So I will see you guys for my post, my pre-workout meal. I'll let you know how posing goes, everything like that. And I will see you soon. Okay, so I'm back after posing. If Laura wants to send there and interrupt me anymore. Uh, <laughs> no, basically, so um, I'm going to have my pre-workout meal and my vitamins because I forgot to take those this morning. Then I'm going to have my train, have my post-workout meal, then I'm going to go to Tesco. So very, very quickly including this video, if you are looking at competing, if you are looking at coaches, anyone for posing, I'm gonna link my coach just here. Her name is Kerry. Honestly, I could not recommend her enough. Um, I'm gonna insert a transformation pic as well, just here, as to how far I've also come with her. Um, honestly, like she's she is incredible. Yeah, we'll do another video on that. Anyway, um, post-workout meal is two bagel thins. Now I've come to the realization is I don't know whether I've been doing this wrong. So I've been having like, like four of these. It says two bagel thins. So technically it's two bagels in a thin. In a thin. So I think I'm doing it right. I, <laughs> Let's stick with it. I'm trying to put on weight anyway. I couldn't find any jam. So it's with this um, Grenade chocolate spread. Honestly, if you haven't already, go and have a look. Um, I know Skinny Foods have a white chocolate spread as well because it's really hard to get hold of white chocolate spread. My coach has a code called Kerry. Laura just burnt her fingers. Yeah, so my coach actually has a code and it's just Kerry. Um, for skinny foods, I've um, we didn't we don't have any manuka honey. Couldn't find any like manuka honey. Couldn't find any jam. Couldn't find any sort of honey apart from Mexican orange blossom honey. So we're gonna give that a go. Um, I'm I gonna have. There's honey. Oh, I thought there's honey. Yeah, I can't see it. it. The lid broke. Oh no. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna have a protein shake. I'm then gonna have a square bar and my coffee that Laura made. So I hope it's really nice. And yeah, you'll see me in the next clips just eating. You shining bright just like Rihanna. Always be fucking up some karma. Okay, so we're back. Um, it's about coming up to 
20 to 1. And I'm not going to lie, like, it was so good. I can't believe how long it's taken me to, from posing this morning, 8.30 to about 8.20 to 9.20, eat, train, wow. Yeah, it's taken me quite a, quite a while, but I'm getting my meals in, it's fine. Um, so this is my post-workout meal. Now, I was, I was going to say, like, soon for my post post workout meal after that you're going to probably hear me say oh my meal too and you're like but she's had like four meals already how we say it is pre-workout meal meal uh post workout meal post post workout meal meal one meal two meal three and then i have my fourth meal which is my cheat meal so that's seven meals i've got to fit in three down four to go Okay, so yeah, it's just how we do it, just so we kind of know where, like, where we're sitting and what meal's what. And so, yeah, it's, it's just our terms that we use. Um, right, so I'm going to show you what I'm having for my post-workout meal. Now, I'm feeling extremely bloated, and I have, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned in another video that I get quite bloated after some uh, protein shakes. And I think because I've already had two shakes already, I'm feeling very bloated. So I'm going to go upstairs, get my isolate protein powder, which is chocolate. And I'm going to have that and just see kind of how I feel because it's just a lot quicker to digest. So I know that doesn't cause me any sort of bloating. Um, also, what I'm going to show you as my post-workout meal a lot of people slate me for having this and I don't know like I, I can see why but then at the end of the day like this is planned around me my sugar levels can dip sometimes so I need to get my sugar levels back up especially during pro uh, during training like it w really dips and so yeah we just need to get my sugar levels back up and um, I'm sure Kerry my coach does this with a lot of people um it is a well balanced meal but people just don't like what's in it for some reason and unfortunately it's the, me who's eating it so i really don't have a problem i'm the one that needs to eat it at the end of the day so we have porridge oats this is apple and cinnamon the only reason why i've got this is i typically wouldn't i found this and it's about 55 grams i'd have about 50 grams typically five grams over isn't going to kill me um it's in a pot it's just easy i'll put hot water in it i would have the slender porridge from protein world and as you can see like there's not much left from it at all but it's vanilla flavor and i've just had way too much vanilla today i have some dark chocolate i need a wrap which i'm going to put chocolate spread in I've got two um, square bars and with the oats, I should actually have jam, but for some reason, the jam in our house has disappeared off the surface. I don't know who's touched it. I don't know who's used it, but it could have said. Um, so I'm gonna go out and get some more and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna have our post, post workout meal, which is chicken. So I'll cook that all up for you and then i mean for you i say for you i'm eating it and then yeah we're just gonna see how the rest of the day plans out i'm planning to get a mcdonald's for my cheat meal because uber eat sent me a 40 percent off code so we're gonna benefit off that so yeah right let me sort my food out and i'll be back for when i'm gonna eat it you shining bright to light we always be fucking up some come Okay guys, I don't know why I've still got my mask on. So me and Laura are back from the shops. 
We then went to go take the dogs on a walk and yeah, now we're back. I thought I may as well go on a walk, then come back, cook all the food. So we're having in this post, post workout meal, chicken, veg, some avocado um, for like healthier sort of fats and potatoes I think I'm gonna have. It was either rice or potatoes and I know rice is a lot quicker to cook. I'm just kind of fancying something different. Um, and the potatoes can kind of boil when the chicken's all sorted. So yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, while, it, while it's cooking, I'm gonna film some Instagram content and then that's all good to go up for tonight. And yeah, that's about it. And then of course you guys will see me eating the food. Also, I didn't eat the shake because that last meal, uh, my post-workout meal was a struggle to get down. I think as I'm, I still feel so bloated from that last, from the last shake, it just really has um, kind of hit me a bit. So I think if I'm gonna have like that shake, I will have it towards like the end of the day where I'm feeling not so bloated. So yeah, I think that's the plan. So I'm gonna add extra chicken in. And yeah, that's about it. So I'm gonna add extra chicken in this meal because I missed the protein shake and yeah i will see you with the fourth meal and then we've got three more to go okay so i'm sat down i'm just about to eat so i have my himalayan salt and i've actually got some water i want to have um a bottle of water whilst i'm eating this as well um some people may question why i have bottled water if I don't have bottled water, it's really strange. I just won't find I'm gonna drink. Um, I think because there's like bottled water by our stairs, I'm gonna drink it. So I always try and like pick one up whenever I see it. So it makes me just drink more. I'm gonna tilt you down um, so you can see what I'm having just on closer detail. And then I'll put you on a time lapse and we're gonna eat. So I have my potatoes my veg and then my chicken and yeah i honestly i'm buzzing i'm actually really looking forward to this it, it seems like quite a lot but i think i think i can get through it so yes yeah, so in three two one you're gonna be on a time lapse you shining bright just like rihanna nah. always be fucking up some come on oh girl we know this your body the coldest everybody fall in love Fall in love Cause I'm a rolling stone Baby come on Tell me what you like Every night Girl I know You got your own But you could be mine You bought that life that time of the day again where we're gonna eat some food so it's technically meal two um i think it's meal number five technically meal number two nothing too exciting i'm not actually going to film me doing this because i've got some editing and stuff to do um which i need to be on my phone for um it's about coming up to 10 to 6 so i'm running slightly late with this meal it's fine because I can eat around half seven for my next meal and then we'll work out when I'm going to fit my last meal in. But basically, so we are back with the pro fuel. There we go. We're back with the pro fuel. So um, this one I have 100 grams. This is going to spill everywhere. Perfect, so I do a scoop and then a little bit more. I kind of roughly know all my measurements of what I'm having because I just have it so much now. Um, okay, so yeah, like I said, this is exactly like the other meal I had. Um, I also need some peanut butter, but it's in the cupboard right where I popped my phone. Okay. Right, we'll give that a little stir. 
the thing with this pro fuel is it doesn't really dissolve that well it's so good to have if you struggle to get your carbs in honestly i'll definitely recommend it but it just doesn't really dissolve you kind of just have to let it sit for a bit and then hope for the best okay that's that so that's the pro fuel in there right this is what i was talking to you about the whey protein isolate this is milk chocolate flavor and yeah i'm hoping it doesn't cause me any bloating and i just have one scoop and a bit of this just because i like it a little bit thicker there we go that's one we'll go with two perfect that's that i'll stir that i can't be asked to get the lid if i'm perfectly honest so i'm just stirring it I mean, it's not the nicest, just stirring it. I'd rather shake it, but, you know. Okay. These are my drinks. Peanut butter. Oh, am I going to? Can I successfully get it? Let's have a look. Move you guys to the side. I'm oh, sorry for the awful angles, jeez. Okay. Peanut butter, I'm just, I am actually gonna down, I'm gonna down the shape while I'm here. Mmm. I'm not a great peanut butter fan, so maybe I'll get used to it, but I think it's just so dry. I'm not going to sip with this. Yeah, I don't know. But like I said, unfortunately, we just have to do what we have to do. It's food at the end of the day, like we're lucky to have it, you know? Okay, so that's done. So that I'm just gonna pop there. Still a bit gross. So like I explained earlier, the reason why I use um, whey isolate is because it's so much easier to digest. It digests a lot quicker, so it doesn't cause me any bloating which is one thing I actually didn't realise. I didn't realise the it would stop me from bloating. I kind of thought all shakes were the same, um, whether you they digest quicker or not, but it kind of de it depends on what your body reacts to. Right, oh God. Mum? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm not having that because I'm pretty sure there was bleach in that. I can taste bleach, so let's hope I'm not throwing up two seconds later. So instead we have down this. I will make another one of that. Hopefully this flushes it out. But I down that. <laughs> smell bleach, I thought I could smell it. I'm not gonna stand here, let you guys watch me drink this. I'm gonna make another one of that. I'm gonna go edit. I hope I don't faint or be sick, throw up, whatever. Hopefully I'll see you back here for <laughs> meal number six which hopefully is the mcdonald's if i get it <laughs> okay so we're back for meal number six and um slight view change we're in the bedroom now because i had to run and get my food um so slight outfit change as well oh, i keep getting an itchy nose in these videos 
So slight outfit change because the editing actually was like done in like seconds. So that was fine. So I didn't know what to do. So I thought, well, let's actually take some time to relax today because I feel like I'm so busy just going here, there, doing bits, you know. Um, so I've got a bath, I'm in a big hoodie, I'm in some sweatpants and we're just going to chill. I'm not going to actually film me eating the next two clips, but I'm going to film me make these, my food. Um, just because I want some downtime now and I just want to kind of chill, relax on my phone, watch some TV. Because I've got Married at First Sight Australia to catch up on. If you're not, oh, if you're not watching that, what are you doing with your life? Um, this, my hair, because I've just been in the bath, is now really annoying me and it doesn't want to do anything. Um, anyway, so meal number six, we've got one more to go and I'm feeling really hungry, surprisingly. Um, so let me show you what I've got. So actually, um, first things first, Uber Eats, who do you think you are lying to me? Um, happily you will send me an email to say that McDonald's have 40% off. Oh no, don't want to advertise my McDonald's on there, do you? So couldn't get it from there, that was a disappointment. So ordered off Just Eat, so they have my money instead. And it's annoying because we live like, we live by like three McDonald's. They take like 15 minutes, they're all like 15 minutes away. So we've got one here, one here and then one here. And only, like, one will deliver to us. And it's really irritating. I mean, it's good. Like, I still get delivery. But, like, not always do they, like, advertise it. Um, so, yeah. A bit of shambles, really. So, really disappointed with Uber Eats. But I still pulled through. I stuck with my guns. I got a McDonald's. And, yeah, let's show you what I've got. So, I have... Is it going to work now? I have a Coke Zero. So I can have a cheat meal, uh, obviously I can have a cheat meal, I can have a fizzy drink once a day but because I'm always drinking so many fluids I don't really always feel uh, the need for a fizzy drink. It, don't get me wrong there are some days where I'm absolutely craving like fizzy drinks and there's just others where I'm not that bothered. Um, the one time they actually remember my barbecue sauce as well. Could ask for more, but it's fine. We'll do, it'll do. Okay, in this bag, oh, I'm not gonna really be able to get it out. Um, okay. So I've got a triple cheeseburger, six chicken nuggets and chips. Was also gonna opt for cheese melts, but I thought that was a bit greedy and I need to, I've got another meal to fit in. Um, so yeah, that was that really. And that's about it. I'm gonna eat this and then I'll see you for meal number seven, the final meal. Probably about half eight, maybe nine o'clock. Um, I might have it around nine o'clock because this would have settled. Married at First Sight Australia would have finished. So obviously we need to be watching that. And yeah, I'm just basically gonna have some downtime now. Enjoy and see you in my meal seven. Okay guys, so we're back, final meal, meal number seven. And now, um, technically this is my last meal, but that McDonald's just didn't even touch the side. I kind of wish I got more, but then again, because I had this meal, I just didn't know. Like, I think I had that meal around 7.30ish. Um, finished it around eight and I was so hungry. Like I was very tempted just to come down and eat this meal, but then I thought I'm just gonna be even more hungry. <laughs> so yeah, I've got rice cake bars to kind of snack on. I've made myself a cup of tea. Um, now I've measured out already 140 grams of yogurt with um, hazelnut drops and then dark chocolate. This is the yogurt I use. So it's Greek style natural yogurt. And it's all in here, it looks lovely. It doesn't look like there's anything in there, but I promise you there's dark chocolate in there. I've just mixed it all in. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is my final meal. That's me done, and that's obviously, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna snack on stuff. So that's just my extra bits, but I'm still more than like, with my plan, I'm so lucky that I can kind of go over if I need to. 
like as long as I have all my food and then I, there's still room for more food, I, I'm still more than welcome to obviously go over and eat um, just because of my goal. Um, I will link Laura's video just up here. She done her what I eat in a day. And I kid you not, I'm so surprised at how little she even eats. I didn't even notice it. I think because we're around each other all like all the time, I don't really notice how much or how little she eats. And like, this is what I mean. I think it'll be quite good for people to kind of compare our sort of eating arrangements, let's say, because they're, if, if we're on completely different spectrums over here like obviously you've got me who's on meal seven and about to have even more snacks and then you've got her who i think she had what three meals or two meals um so this is what we mean by like your whole sort of dieting and stuff like that is you're going to be on the same page as someone else like i know laura wasn't particularly particularly hungry during the day um especially when it came to the evening she just wasn't hungry and yeah like that's just kind of her whereas me I get hungry very very quick but it's because I'm so used to building up my calories that I do get hungry so yeah you kind of have to look at where people are at. like everyone's going to be on a different food journey like I've explained for probably the fourth time in this video that yeah this is this is towards my goal, my plan. This is what my coach has done. This is what we've worked about two years to kind of build up to make sure we're doing it um, nice and kind of consistently and spread out so we don't rush anything. And yeah, like in our assumptions video that is coming out soon, it should be out Saturday. By the time we've seen this, it's Monday. So it'll be out on the Saturday and yeah i honestly i put a transformation picture in there which is for me it was a very scary thing to kind of do i think i've never really looked back at my progress pictures and honestly like it scared like that transformation scared me and i think at some point i will put it on instagram so people know um what you can achieve when you put your mind to it and like how I thought I was in such amazing shape in the first picture compared to the second. But yeah, it does like, it, it shocks me. So like someone may be like ahead of you in some aspects, but you'll be, in, you'll be ahead of someone in other aspects. I hope that makes sort of sense. Like everyone's on a different journey. We're all sitting on a different path. We all have different goals. So although this, everything that I'm eating here, this is just my journey, where I'm at in my journey, my goals. Um, and yeah, like it just, I'm, like it's just, it is what it is sort of thing. Um, right, I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna eat this meal, have some snacks, have a cup of tea and just completely relax. Um, and yeah, this is me logging out for today. I do hope you really enjoyed getting to kind of know what I eat during the day and because not a lot of people believe how much I can actually eat or how much I do actually eat. I always feel like people get shocked when I say like the amount of food I eat, like I eat six, seven meals a day. People get quite shocked about that. Um, so there we go, learn something new. Um, yeah, please let me know if you do like these sort of style videos. I can do one for my rest day. It is slightly different because my body is just resting. So it is slightly lower calories, but you may be interested in like yourself, just what I kind of eat on a rest day. This is my training day. So it is a hell of a lot more protein and kind of just fueling food. So yeah, um, comment down below, follow us on our Instagram, like, subscribe, you know the score by now. And again, we will see you on Saturday with a brand new video at 5pm and it will be our assumptions video. Thanks for watching. Bye.